Unraveling the mystery, feelings is emotions. Feelings and emotions, often used interchangeably, are fundamental to the human experience. Emotions are complex states triggered by certain events, while feelings are personal interpretations of those emotions. Historically, feelings and emotions have been subjects of philosophical inquiry, with thinkers like Aristotle distinguishing between the two. Over time, this distinction has evolved, reflecting changes in societal understanding and scientific insight. The biological basis of feelings and emotions lies in their ability to prompt physiological responses. Hormones like adrenaline influence emotions, which in turn shape our feelings about experiences. Language plays a crucial role in shaping our understanding of feelings and emotions. The words we use to describe our emotional states can deeply influence our perception of these experiences. The brain differentiates feelings from emotions through specific neural pathways. Emotions often activate in the amygdala, while feelings are processed in the neocortical regions, showcasing their distinct natures. Understanding emotions as complex reactions involves recognizing them as responses to external and internal stimuli. They encompass a range of physiological, cognitive, and behavioral changes, unlike simple, fleeting feelings. Feelings, in contrast, are deeply personal, subjective experiences that are influenced by our emotions. They are the internal interpretations and meanings we attach to our emotional states, shaped by our thoughts and beliefs. Cultural variations play a significant role in how we express and interpret feelings and emotions. Different societies have unique emotional vocabularies and norms, influencing individuals' emotional expression and recognition. Psychological theories offer insights into the distinction between feelings and emotions. These theories suggest that emotions are raw, physiological responses, while feelings are the conscious experiences that emerge from these emotional states. Socialization impacts our perception of feelings versus emotions significantly. From a young age, we are taught the appropriate ways to express and manage our emotions and feelings, shaping our emotional intelligence. Exploring the physiological responses associated with feelings and emotions reveals a fascinating intersection between our physical bodies and emotional experiences. Heart rate, perspiration, and even pupil dilation can indicate emotional arousal, showcasing how deeply intertwined our emotional and physical states are. The timeline of an emotional response often differs significantly from the duration of feelings. Emotions can arise swiftly and intensely, often in response to external stimuli, while feelings can linger, evolving over time as we process the emotional experience. Emotional intelligence plays a pivotal role in managing and understanding feelings and emotions. It involves recognizing one's own emotions and those of others, discerning between different feelings, and using this information to guide thinking and behavior. Memories have a profound influence on feelings and emotions, serving as a bridge between past experiences and current emotional states. A memory can trigger complex emotions and feelings, often colored by the context in which the memory was formed. Feelings and emotions significantly affect decision-making and behavior. Emotions can serve as a compass, guiding us toward what feels right, while feelings can provide the depth of understanding necessary for making more considered and empathetic decisions. Art and literature serve as mirrors to the human condition, capturing the essence of feelings and emotions in a way that transcends time and culture. Through storytelling and visual expression, artists and writers convey the complexities of the human heart, offering insight and understanding into our own experiences of love, grief, joy, and despair. Identifying and expressing feelings and emotions healthily is crucial for emotional well-being. Techniques such as journaling, mindfulness, and expressive arts enable individuals to explore and articulate their inner landscape. These practices not only foster self-awareness, but also facilitate emotional regulation and resilience. Therapeutic approaches, including cognitive behavioral therapy and emotion-focused therapy, provide structured methods for managing overwhelming feelings and emotions. These interventions help individuals to navigate their emotional responses, promoting healing and growth. 
The support of a therapist can be instrumental in transforming emotional turmoil into a source of strength. The future of research on feelings and emotions is ripe with possibilities. Advances in neuroscience and psychology continue to unravel the mysteries of the human psyche, promising deeper insights into our emotional lives. This evolving understanding will undoubtedly enhance interventions and support emotional and mental health in new and innovative ways. Integrating our understanding of feelings and emotions into daily life enriches our experiences and relationships. Recognizing the value of emotional intelligence and employing strategies to communicate and manage our emotional states fosters empathy and connection. In embracing the full spectrum of our feelings and emotions, we find the keys to a more fulfilling and harmonious life.